DIY designer, thanks for stopping by. My name is Orly Shani, and if you are new to the channel, hopefully you like this video and you actually like hit the like button and maybe subscribe um, because we got good DIYs every single week. We got a good one today. We got a real stretchy, sassy little segment. I gotta tell you, I'm excited about it because today we're gonna be working with latex. I was a little intimidated. I gotta tell you, I'm pretty stoked. This stuff is so fun. Now, I'd say, I'm kind of bummed to say this, but I gotta give like full on credit to the Kardashian Jenner clan for this one. Prior to a couple years ago when they started wearing them, you'd really only think of this as some sort of like. Whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> But then these girls showed up wearing it in this like really pretty pink color and I became obsessed. The very first dress I saw was this one on Kim and I really loved the latex but I didn't love so much that like bus line. I think the bus line was kind of weird. But then each one of them showed up wearing like a different version of it, a different shade of pink, but they were all these really feminine romantic pinks. And I thought that it was so fun. I really want to make a pencil skirt. So that's what we're going to do today. I think this is a really fun trend and it's surprisingly easy to work with and the material is not expensive. So all in all, this is a good one. Let's do materials. So here is my fabric. First thing you wanna do is fold it face to face or right sides together. You can see I have kind of a narrow section of fabric and that's because I knew that my pencil skirt was pretty narrow and it would fit perfectly in that space. First thing you wanna do is just cut your length. So I gave myself about an inch and a half to two inches of excess so that I could give a hem if I wanted to. I decided to cut mine clean so I didn't use the hem, but at least I had the space. Now, cut out both of your side seams. You wanna give yourself about a quarter inch of seam allowance but you can give yourself as much as you want. So here are my two pieces. Now, this was a moment when I was thinking about giving myself a center back seam for the sole purpose of creating like a six inch slit in the back, which would make it easier to walk. So I was kind of sitting here, and if you want to do that, you're going to cut open the back piece and you'll end up sewing closed everything in the back except for the bottom six inches. I decided not to do it after all, but I was just kind of toying around with the idea, as you can see. Since I didn't decide to do that, I just laid both of my pieces of my skirt, again, face to face, right sides together, and pinned them. Now I'm just sewing with that quarter inch seam allowance that I gave myself when I cut it out. There is my elastic. This is already cut to size. What you wanna make sure to do is actually stitch it closed. You can see now I'm switching my uh, stitch to a zigzag stitch, and you wanna go back and forth, back and forth on that stitch. Now, flip your skirt inside out, and it's time to pin the elastic into our waistband. Always take the stitch that you did and put it on the side seam. That way all of that sort of excess is gathered on the side. Pin both of your side seams first and then stretch it to evenly pin out the excess into your center front and center back. This just ensures that everything is evenly distributed so that the stretch factor will be evenly distributed. Now make sure to pull both sides of your elastic as you sew so that it evenly distributes. Now you wanna fold that waistband in. So see here, I flipped it inside out and I fold the waistband in and you can see it's nice and clean finished. In order to hide it, we're going to stitch down the elastic right in the well of the stitch. So you can see that's our side seam there. I'm gonna stitch into that, which is not only keeping our elastic in place, but it's also hiding the fact that I'm stitching it down, you're not gonna see it. Now I moved on to creating a tank top. This was an old tank top that I had and I opened up my shoulder seams and that was really just because I had this kind of crazy idea of being able to create a tank top with no side seams. I thought if I could fold it like this on the center front, then I could actually create a tank top that only had a seam in the back. It didn't end up working, so what I did is just flipped my tank top in the regular way, laid it down, cut it out, and sewed my side seams. All right, I'm cleaning off any loose threads that I see. We've got the skirt done. The good thing about latex is that it cuts completely clean, so you can have just a crisp raw edge, and that's a lot of the ways that latex is manufactured anyway um, when you buy them, so that's great. I also made a little tank top, which I just took a tank top from my closet, laid it down, and cut it out. So I'm gonna try on the outfit, but again, all three pieces are interchangeable. Let's see how I can squeeze myself into this bad boy. Thank <laughs> you. 